So Australian filmmaker Justin Kurtzel has made a few movies I've heard of. And a couple I definitely should have seen, but for some reason I just haven't gotten around to it. Namely Snowtown, which looks very interesting, and Macbeth starring Michael Fassbender. But yeah, I'm sad to say I haven't seen those yet, so I wasn't sure what kind of movie to expect from this. But it did feature quite a few talented actors such as George McKay, so I was definitely intrigued enough to give it a watch. And the story here follows the life of the infamous outlaw Ned Kelly. But as it turned out, George Mackay was actually not my favorite part of this, which I kinda expected him to be. In fact, his portrayal of the character didn't actually resonate with me very much at all. Now, I do think that had a lot to do with the writing, not necessarily the performance. And I think it was hampered by the fact that he's not even really in the movie for the first 45 minutes or so. Because the first part of the movie is about his childhood, and Ned is played by Orlando Schwert. And I found that part of the movie to be really engaging and interesting. So when it then jumped over to him as an adult, I don't know, there was sort of a disconnect. I also didn't think his story in the latter part was nearly as compelling. And two of my favorite performances in this are also in the first part of the movie. One being Russell Crowe, who I didn't even know was gonna be in this. But he plays sort of a mentor type to Ned, and I thought he was really good in this. I mean, it's not a very big role at all, but he was just really memorable in this. And the other highlight for me was Ned's mom, played by Essie Davis. Because she really put everything into this role and kinda blew me away, to be honest. And she's probably best known for the Babadook, which I liked her in as well. But I thought she was really memorable in her rather small role in Game of Thrones too. But yeah, here she impressed me even more and now I'm really excited to see what she does next. But anyway, back to the movie itself, uh, although I don't really have a ton to say about it. Because once it got to the second part, I just didn't find it to be that great anymore. It was still interesting enough to keep me engaged, but uh, I did think it was a step down from the first part. And when we then got to the third part, as this is actually split into three chapters, it kinda lost me to be honest, I just didn't find it to be very engaging at all at that point. It also took a bit of a strange shift in tone, to a more, I almost wanna call it psychedelic tone. With some interesting, creative and unique visuals that I actually appreciated. But to me the story itself and where the movie took it just didn't really work. And as a result the movie ended up feeling like a bit of a downward slide. Where every chapter was a step down from the previous one and I didn't really end up caring for this much at all as a whole. But as I said I liked the first part quite a bit and there were some outstanding performances in this too. So it's not without some redeeming qualities, but overall I just didn't like it that much. But I also don't know exactly what they could have done better or where they could have improved. Since the more out there and creative parts were pretty much what I liked the most about the latter part. But I guess there was just a lack of punch to the narrative that I found to be an issue. But that's about it, so would I recommend this? Eh, probably not, but it's not terrible. So maybe check it out, or maybe don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.